80 years ago, a novel by former Augusta Chronicle sports writer turned him into a household name across America. Meanwhile, back in Augusta, they were calling Erskine Caldwell some names you wouldn't want to hear in your household. As celebrated as Erskine Caldwell became nationally for Tobacco Road, a fictional look at poverty in the South, locally he was vilified for portraying our region in the harshest of human terms. The book, published in 1932, was hailed as a brilliant protest. The phrase, Tobacco Road, came to symbolize crushing poverty. Augustans were mostly furious at the way Caldwell portrayed Southerners. In fact, Governor Gene Talmadge commended the mayor of Chicago for banning the work, although it was done on obscenity grounds. In 1957, when there was talk of filming a movie version of Caldwell's follow-up novel, God's Little Acre in Augusta, City Councilman G. Pierce King told the Chronicle, quote, that man has done more to hurt this area in the South than any man alive. His writings have been a curse to Augusta. Those critical of Tobacco Road for its portrayal of poor whites missed the point, critics say, whereas the poor in John Steinbeck's Grapes of Wrath overcame poverty in Caldwell's work, they were crushed by it and did not respond heroically. Augusta still has its tobacco road. It got its name because centuries ago, it was used by tobacco farmers to get their product to the Savannah River where it was taken downstream and shipped to other ports. In 1969, the Augusta Richmond County Planning Commission considered changing the name because of the stigma. One commissioner though, J. Newton Thompson, was against it. He said, next to the Augusta National, Tobacco Road's the most famous thing we've got. As for Caldwell, there's little honoring or commemorating him today. He died in 1987, and there's not really much made over the road today either. Augusta's late historian Ed Cashin said that he was interviewed in the 1980s by a Japanese film crew which was doing a documentary on Tobacco Road. They asked if he would take them out to see it, and he did. They were really disappointed, Cashin said later. They found out it was paved.